So in this video, I want to summarize some exercise or homework ideas that you can do with this uh, topic of word counting and uh, text analysis. So um, number one, if you make something, please share it with me. Twitter at Schiffman, you can put it in the comments here. Or if you're part of the uh, Patreon crowdfunding, which you can check a link in the description to find out how to do that, we've got a Slack channel where you can share and discuss your assignments. So mostly the first thing you might try is, in my example, my, um, if I go back, and look at this word counting example, uh, it's just literally the word in their count. So what might be a creative way that you visualize this? And the other thing, I've said this before, is think about what happens if you're doing multiple documents, how might you compare them? And in that sense, the TF-IDF video could unlock some ideas for how you might present that. But really, I think what you want to think about is why are you doing this? <laughs> What's interesting to you about text? What texts are passionate? Are you passionate about? Is there meaningful text that you've written that you want to look at in a new way? And I would really encourage you to um, take a look at Pennebaker's research and The Secret Life of Pronouns. Look at the website, which will be linked in this video's description as well, to what happens if you're really just counting a small subset of words and these function words, these, so to speak, junk words. How can you get, how can you, um, uh, could you create a sort of interactive lie detector based on the use of the personal pronoun I, me, or my based on that research? And you'll see on the website there are a bunch of exercises and interactive systems that do this work already. Maybe you might have a twist on that or create your own. Um, another thing you might look at are word frequencies as compared. You know, your emails versus somebody else's emails. Can you find a match? Uh, Luke Dubois has a wonderful project called Craigslist Mixed Connections. I might be... Um, uh, I'll link to that, uh, a reference about that project, hopefully in this video's description, where what he did was look at Craigslist. Uh, people will post like, oh, I saw you on the train, and tries to auto-match people based on the style of their writing. Is that something you could sort of think about figuring out how to do? Um, and um, that's, that's, I guess that's my kind of summary. So, you know, you might look at sentiment analysis also if you have a pre uh, pre pre a pre-made set of words that are, have a positive connotation or a negative connotation. What happens if you count how many times those words appear in a certain text? What types of analysis? And also, here's another idea, um, word counting. Emphasis on the counting, not emphasis on the word. What if you count syllables, parts of speech, sentences, words that rhyme with Rainbow, I have no idea what it might be. And is, you know, thinking back to Twitter bots, what if you do this kind of text analysis, analyze stuff on Twitter using the Twitter API, post that stuff back as a Twitter bot? There's so many possibilities here. You will be much more creative and interesting. There's an idea in your head. I know there is, but even if there isn't, just start messing around. Play, don't even worry about what you're making. You might discover something as you're like playing with the examples. So create something, share it with me. I would love to know more about it. And I hope to see you in um, next week's session which I already forgot what it's about, but oh, I think I'm gonna start moving on to text generation and maybe looking at Markov chains. So that'll happen at some point. The videos might already be there by the time you're watching this. Okay, thanks and I'll see you soon.